Live from our media center at High Malakau, this is the City Review News. Welcome to Afternoon News Bulletin. My name is Patricia Dominic. Now the headlines. Chagor vows to fight crime and strengthen Jongulei and Pibor peace. Cabinet orders ministers to review contract on road construction. And Africans' oil is in decline. Now the news in detail. The governor of Jongulei state, Denai Chagor, has vowed to fight criminals whom he said have been weakening the state's peace. He's speaking during the peace festival to reduce the circle of violence and end women and child abduction across Greater Jongulei and Greater Pibor administrative areas. Chagor said the government must combat crime in the state and he will do it relentlessly. Meanwhile, the cabinet has instructed the four ministers to review the contract signed between the two governments of Ethiopia and South Sudan on the construction of roads. He's speaking to journalists after the Council of Ministers meeting on Friday. The government spokesperson Michael McQuay said the cabinet listened to the presentation from the Minister of Finance and Planning, Bak Banaba Chol, on the agreement signed by the two governments for the construction of the road Poluj Mathiang Mayuet Pagog Road, which connects the two countries. And the African Energy Champa has lamented that the Africa's oil production decline is expected to be flat about 6.77 million barrels per day, though the month's production seems too bleak. In a statement seen by City Review on Sunday, NJ Ayuk, executive chairman of the African Energy Chamber, noted that it is still challenging to fully grasp the profound damage COVID-19 has inflicted on the lives of the people and economic devastation across the globe. For more news, visit our website at www.cityreviewss.com. Stay tuned.